Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've recently made changes to my channel. My brand name is not going to be Blush and Power Beauty anymore. It's going to be simply Monisha. So I had to make that change recently because uh, there's a lot that changed. I haven't been uploading videos on YouTube for almost like a year, year and a half now. It's because I recently had a little baby girl named Adia and uh, she changed everything. I got pregnant and Pregnancy was a little bit tough on me, so I couldn't really, like I was really sick and I couldn't uh, find my time to do a video because this setup takes a lot of time. I've got to, you know, set up the camera, the lights, I've got to do makeup and I was really exhausted and I couldn't do anything. But I did want to do like a lot of pregnancy related like skincare, makeup, hair care, body care because uh, all the products are different when you're pregnant. The products you use regularly might not necessarily work when you're pregnant. There are research about you know certain chemicals not being good for your uh, baby. So when you're pregnant and when you're breastfeeding you're gonna have to like cut down on a lot of ingredients. So I wanted to do that but I was really really tired. Now I think I've you know now that she's like almost almost a year old she's gonna be one year next month I've got a little bit more time on my hand and I thought I should get back into doing what I love but since my life changed so much I wanted to incorporate a little bit of lifestyle mommy content along with beauty which I always love so I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and if you follow me on my other social media so without any further delay let's get started today I'm gonna to be demonstrating my favorite hair tool and it's the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. So this tool became really famous about a year ago. I think they've had it in the market for more than that but it became famous when Dyson last year. If you guys remember Dyson came out with their um, air wrap last year and so the air wrap this doesn't do exactly what the air wrap does which is the curling part of it but it also had other attachment that does like blow drying and straightening and all that. And people really thought this worked just as good as that or sometimes even better than that. This was a random purchase for me. I was in Ulta on like Black Friday and they had it for like, this originally retails for like $60 but they had it on sale for like $30 and I was like I might as well, I think $30 or $35 and I wanted to test it out. So I got this and I've been using this tool for almost a year non-stop and this is like the best like $30 investment I've ever made in my life. So I wanted, I've been wanting to do a video on this, I've done, I've posted about this on my social media, on my Instagram and stuff but I wanted to do a dedicated video because this tool is unlike any other. What this brush is, is if you guys love like the look of like a blow dried hair but you either don't want to go to the salon every time or if you find like using a blow dryer and a brush really hectic then this is the tool for you i really love that look so i really like this the only other tool i had like this was my uh, daphne which is meant for like drier hair this is meant for like when your hair is almost like three-fourth dry like when you would use a blow dryer i'm gonna get started with this my hair is Three fourth dry almost this is how I would if I were to blow dry it and I'm gonna be using the wet brush this is my favorite brush to use when um, my hair is wet so I'm gonna be using that I'm gonna brush it through so I'm I'm planning on um, doing half of my hair and showing you the difference and I'm gonna like fast forward through because it's going to be a long video if I do the whole thing. It does not take a long time for me. It takes less than 10 minutes. But since I'm doing a video, it might take a little longer than that. So I brushed my entire hair. So I'm going to be using some hair protectant. I'm going to be using the Whey Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm going to spray my hair with this throughout. This is my natural hair. It's like, it's very curly and frizzy so I like a blow dried hair and now I'm gonna partition it so I usually partition it like the lower level mid level and like the top part of it but for demonstration purposes I'm gonna partition like the left side and right side so I can show you how this tool really works I'm gonna put a band on one side so it keeps the hair away from the other side and over here I'm gonna partition it like that 
I'm going to put a crocodile clip on it. So I'm going to work with this layer first. So this has three different settings. The brush is really big, so I really like it. Some people might find it a little bulky, but I like it because I can like quickly work through a larger part of my hair. And it has three settings. It has a cool, low, and high. I started with a low before, but I um, think my hair can handle the high. But if you have very fragile hair, I would suggest going with a low because it takes a little bit longer to dry it, but it still does a good job. And then I would use the cool setting to like set it so there's no frizz in the hair. So I'm gonna show this part first, and then when I'm doing the rest, I'm gonna just fast forward it through because this could be a little loud. So I'm gonna do it in the high setting now. Oh, so by the way, when you're doing this, all you're doing is, if you had a, imagine having like a, like a blow dryer and a round brush and doing it, except you, it's all in one. So all you're doing it is like, you would brush it through like you're actually blow drying your hair. So all you're doing is do that. I zoomed out so you guys can see a little bit better so this is like my blow-dried hair it's um, almost done I'm gonna run it through one more time to get rid of the frizzies and then I'm gonna show how it looks So I hope you guys can see, this is what my hair looks like. I'm gonna do the rest of the hair and then show you how it looks. So this is what my hair looks like once I've uh, blow dried it. And this is like, you know, there's a little bit of like is here that's because I've, I've got my baby hair after like childbirth so so there's like this little bit of frizz that I have to get rid of only by straightening it but um, this is pretty much what the hair looks like and I would usually when I take my brush I would hold it like this for, at the end for a while it gives it a little bit of a curly bouncy effect so I'm gonna show you side by side difference this is what it looks like five minutes of blow drying my hair using this tool and this is my regular hair. So I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'll be back shortly. So I'm done blow drying my hair. Now I'm just gonna run my hair through with like the cool setting to set it. So this is the finished look. It maybe took me a little longer than it would usually, but when I'm actually doing it without like the camera, it would take me anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So it's really quick. I, you know, I get a blow dried hair and I really have been loving this tool. I think if you guys, you know, have hair any anywhere closer to me or like, you know, wavy, curlyish hair. And if you like the blow dried look, you would really love this tool. And like I said, there's a little bit of frizz for me up here. Uh, and it's only because I've got like baby hair from my childbirth and you know, it's gonna take a while for those to grow out. So I would usually like touch up a little bit using my straightener. Other than that, I love this tool. I think it's uh, really the best investment I've made, even if I were to pay like the full price. But I would wait for a coupon I've seen um, Ulta have a sale and Target have a sale. It's available on Amazon, uh, Target, Ulta. I'm gonna link them all down below, but if you guys wanna wait for a sale, you totally could. It, it goes on sale every now and then. And if I see it go on sale, I usually post it on my, my Instagram. So if you guys are interested, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's simply Monisha. I'm also ha gonna have a blog post about this and I would link it all down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a really long time since I did a video and it feels like I'm starting all over again 
and uh, but I'm really excited. So please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.